Hello, Facebook. I okay. I'm listening to myself. <laughs> so I stop that. I'm just going to share this over in my group. If you, um, if I can, isn't it going to show up? Come on. I'm on the page. Let's see. Um, if you would like to join my Facebook group where you can tag me, you can ask me questions. Um, I would love to have you there. It's called thriving in business and love. Um, you can look it up thriving in business and love. I am waiting for my thingy to load my Facebook here to load so that I can share this with my group. I, you know, I have a blog on mybestrelationship.com, which is my website. And I happen to get, you know, a fair amount of, um, comments on it. Okay. There's my live video. Let me just share this. Um, I get some, some comments and some questions on there quite frequently. And so I thought maybe what would be helpful, um, hi Beth, I think you are here. I'm going to see you soon. Um, <clears throat> I thought what might be helpful is to come on live and to try to answer some of these questions. So I'm sure the person who wrote the comment isn't necessarily, um, watching this, right? But I'm going to, um, try to share this with, um, I'm not going to share it to my page. I'm going to share it to a group. I'm going to share this with them, um, in the comment, because maybe other people have questions and, you know, I get all these, um, comments and questions. So I might as well, you know, try to, um, try to respond to them. All right. So I'm just going to say Q answering, a question from my blog. All right. So, um, a, a while back, I don't know how long ago, but I, I just so you know, I have, so my best relationship.com it's being reworked. This is an old look. It's being rebranded. I've got, you know, we've, we're categorizing things. I have hundreds, literally hundreds of posts. Some of them more helpful than not. Probably some of them were probably just, you know, I have to write a post, so I'm going to try to pull something out and make a post, but some of them are actually really helpful and get a lot of comments from people. Um, and they're categorized. And so I get comments from the blog and I'm going to actually head over here and look at one of the comments that came up recently that I haven't responded to yet because sometimes I look and it's like, Oh, there's 10 comments. I have to respond to them. Um, I thought this might be a better way of doing it. So somebody writes in, hi, Oh, this is in response to, and if anybody has any questions, I'll, I'll head over to the Facebook live stream as well. So if you have questions, if you have feedback back, if you want to help this person out to post it and I'll make sure to, to say that as well. If you have questions, I'm here, of course. So this is a post I wrote a while back, what not to do when you're having relationship problems. So one thing you're not supposed to do if you're having relationship problems is to start talking to the world about them. Okay. So let's say, you know, I get in a fight with my husband and he drives me crazy and I drive him crazy and whatever. Like what you don't want to do is start talking to everybody else about it. Right. Because that just feeds the, feeds the issue. And, and I say more on the blog post about why you don't want to do that. Um, but really the whole point is that you want to resolve these things yourself. You want to resolve them together. If you can't resolve them together, elicit third party support, professional help in all of my blog posts or my comments, not all of them, but in nearly so many of them, people are writing these things and I'm like, just get yourself some help, find somebody to talk to. Right? So, um, but don't rely on friends, family. Now, of course, if you're in a situation where you don't feel safe, where you're in a violent situation of any kind. Yes. I mean, talk to people, but if you, you know, if you're not at a point where you're actually thinking about leaving the relationship, um, or you're scared to leave, you know, in that situation, again, I, I, I don't want to, I know, you know, in partners with intimate partner violence and domestic abuse and violence, they kind of thrive on, on cutting you off from others. And I, and I don't encourage that at all. Um, but if you're, ha if you're in a relatively okay relationship and you want to make it work and you know, there isn't any violence or abuse, um, don't, don't share your problems with the world, keep them to yourself and figure them out and deal with them. And you'll be much more likely to, you know, have a stronger relationship as a result. So that's basically the gist of one of the posts that I wrote. I might've said more things that are more eloquent cause I thought about it more, but maybe not. So somebody writes in, hi. I have a problem with my husband who likes to be intimate with me when I, oh, sorry. Oh, this is actually, yes, I have a couple of them. All right. This is one. Hi, I have a problem with my husband who likes to be intimate. With, this is, this is a question about this. I have a problem with my husband who likes to be intimate with me, which I don't give consent to. 
Many times I was being forced to be intimate with him. I had been going this through this for years. I feel like talking to somebody about it. Recently, I made a new male friend whom I had known for around six months, but we became closer as days pass. But I'm wonder, worried to tell out my prob too. I wonder what he is, what is his thinking about me? Should I really talk to him? I'm not sure of what he will think about my spouse because he will be coming to my house one of this day soon. But I feel like I desperately need to talk to someone whom I've never had any close friends before. I feel very desperate. Okay, so lots of things to say in response to this. One, intimacy, sex without consent is rape. That's a problem. I don't care if you're married. I don't care if whatever. That's a problem, right? I mean, that's that's a problem. That's a big problem. And um, and I can see why you're feeling, you know, like this is a really this is a really difficult situation. Um, the Hotline.org is a national domestic violence. I'm assuming you're in the states. Maybe you're not, but um, the Hotline.org is a great place where you can, you know, get some confidential free support. Um, I would highly encourage you to check that out and talk to somebody about it. And you're talking to somebody on the outside of this relationship, this male friend, and, you know, leaning on this person. And, and I can see why, because you're not in a safe place in your relationship. You're not in a place that feels good, right? I mean, maybe you're not in physically in any danger, but emotionally and physically, right? Still, you're, you're not necessarily safe. Um, so you have this male friend that you're starting to connect with and, and share your stuff with. Um, and you're wondering what he's thinking about you, right? You're saying, should I really talk to him? I'm not sure he will, what will think about my house. I don't know about him coming to your house someday soon. Like this just doesn't sound like a good situation. Okay. So you do, you feel like you desperately need to talk to somebody and you've never had close friends before. You feel desperate. I'm really glad that you posted on this post because clearly it tells me that you're in a place of dissonance. You're, you're not, you know, you're not, you're doing something, but it doesn't feel that good and you need help, right? So I will post this link in the comments. Well, actually, I'm, you're probably not going to see it. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'll probably upload this to YouTube and I'll share that link with you as a response in the comments. But I really feel like you really need to get some some support, somebody to talk to that doesn't have an agenda other than to help you. Cause this guy who you're talking to, you're wondering what he's thinking about you. You're kind of relying on him. I don't know. It doesn't sound, yes, we all need support. We all need connections. We need friends. We need people to be able to rely upon. But in this moment of need, you need somebody who you are totally sure has your best interest at heart. Okay. And I'm going to share with you a link where you can get some support with that. I hope this is helpful. If not, let me know. I'm going to head back over to the uh, Facebook live and see if anybody, um, has any thoughts, feedback, comments. I don't think so. Um, so I'm going to end this. Thank you so much for your question and your comment. Um, be sure to like my Facebook page, um, Facebook forward slash my best relationship. And I'll be coming on more with, um, you know, questions like this. I have another one that I'll, I'll do as well. Okay. Thanks for watching. Good luck.